Hallo, ganz herzlich willkommen auf der Meet 2022. Ich begrüße auch ganz herzlich Joe English, der heute anstelle von Gas äh, Macontes ähm, sprechen wird. Vielen Dank. Ähm, wir hören heute äh, einen Vortrag über die Softwarelösung Dante AV. Und thanks for coming and viel Vergnügen. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you. <laughs> so, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much for coming along today. Um, I'm afraid my German is not very good, so I will be giving uh, the presentation in English. Um, I will try and uh, talk slowly and be clear. Um, but of course, I'm at the show. Please come and find me after. If you'd like to talk more, um, I'm here with T Sam um, on stand H2. So, Uh, thank you, Claudia. Uh, as mentioned, my name is Joe Inglis. Um, I'm a sales manager uh, at Ordinate, supporting our Dante AV initiative. Um, <coughs> hopefully, uh, a lot of you here today are familiar with Dante and our heritage in audio. Um, but what perhaps some of you may not know a lot about is what we're doing um, with AV and video. Um, so I'm going to drive straight in um, and talk about that today. Um, and really try and demonstrate um, what we're trying to build and, and why we're trying to build it and how it can add value to you, uh, your projects, and, and your customers. So really what, what we're doing is wanting to develop the next generation of AV over IP. It's no secret. There's lots of solutions on the market um, that have been around a little while. Um, but really with our expertise in audio um, and networking and software, we feel that we can potentially take a lot of that to, to the next level. And the philosophy, um, and I guess uh, recipe, if you like, that we've used to develop um, Dante AV is many of the same that we've used in, in audio. So we want to be able to combine multiple signals and data on a single cable. Absolutely, that's a must. But we also want to be able to build out the ecosystem and the integration that's possible by doing a lot of processing based in software. Again, something we're well known for in audio. And really, the final piece, which is where I feel we perhaps um, differentiate and um, I try to innovate more than some other solutions is in the management and control side of things. And I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about that later. So what does this look like in, in kind of real terms? Well, for devices, uh, some of you will know we have Dante chips, we have modules, there is software. For processing, we can do a lot of that in um, software also. So Dante application library, um, Dante video sound card, which I'm sure a lot of you will know. Um, but really about shifting a lot of what is currently done um, in the kind of physical domain also into software. And, and again, I'll come back to that later. And then finally, the management of it all. Um, I personally have been working with uh, AV over IP solutions for over five years now, and I have experienced firsthand um, some of the challenges around management and auditing of these systems and control of these systems. So this is an area where Ordinate have really, really tried to, to develop and, as I say, represent the, the next generation of technology. So this is a quick snapshot of the, the Dante um, portfolio, ecosystem, products, if you like. Um, just a reminder of what we offer. Um, and of course, maintaining the same philosophy, Dante AV and Dante Video will absolutely be interoperable with a lot of these technologies and sit side by side. So I'm going to be here talking about the Dante Video software tools and the video products today. So introducing Dante AV. As I mentioned, we're trying to build much more than just a transport system. We're trying to build much more than just a codec. Um, but really, this is about fleshing out a, a whole ecosystem of, of tools um, and transport technologies, um, which I think here are quite well reflected. So we've got things like um, Dante Studio, which I'll come on to a little bit later in software. We have um, transport protocols with Dante AV Ultra and AVH, which again, I'll talk to. Uh, in a minute, and then of course the management side of things and, and control and the easy discovery and one-click routing which everyone is so used to on the audio side of things. So hopefully you can see that this is far more than just sending signals over a network. So introducing the Dante AV family, 
we have two kind of transport flavors. One is Dante AV Ultra, um, which is a high quality, low latency um, solution, you know, for kind of demanding and high quality applications. But then we also have something called Dante AVH, um, which you may have not heard of. Um, Dante AVH basically brings all of the Dante goodness, if you like, into the ecosystem, so we can enable H.264, soon to be H.265, uh, endpoints and sources into the Dante ecosystem and, and offer uh, the, the kind of Dante uh, way of control and management and, and generally add intelligence to, to what can otherwise be quite siloed, siloed devices. And then supporting all of that, um, and coming back to the point I made about you know, bridging that gap between kind of the physical world and software, both of these transport technologies go into Dante Studio. And Dante Studio is a PC-based application that's made up of three components. And again, I'll, I'll come back to that a little bit later. So why Dante AV, you may, you may ask? Well, um, it gives you immediate compatibility with 3,500 products that are available on the market today. Um, you get the true interoperability between manufacturers. You get the single configuration tool that you are aware of with Dante Controller and that ease of one-click routing. And then, of course, the IT level management that we currently offer with Dante Domain Manager. And perhaps more importantly, it's all designed to sit on a one gig uh, converged network. So we do play nice with other traffic. We don't dominate. We don't need a 10 gig backplane. As long as the bandwidth is there, we can absolutely support one gig networks. So coming back to Dante AV Ultra, as I mentioned, this is kind of the, um, the, the, the higher quality premium solution. Um, so it's super low latency. Uh, a lot of it is hardware based processing and decoding. It's visually lossless. Again, critical for high-end applications. Supports up to 4K60. And um, again, maintaining the, the, the kind of Dante heritage, we can actually support eight channels of audio, um, which is entirely independently routable as well. And again, the latency, super low. So it's actually less than half a frame uh, at, at 60 frames a second. And again, something which uh, Dante are well known for, our synchronization and clocking um, is very powerful and very effective. So again, we've maintained all of that with Dante AV. Um, and again, we can offer that deterministic latency so you can adjust things according to your network conditions. And as you would expect, we support things like HDCP, as well as the control um, of other data signals such as USB, serial, and IR over IP. So where does this um, kind of sit? Well, <clears throat> it's anywhere where you have um, a requirement for low latency. It's anywhere where you have a requirement for high resolution, HDCP. And really that kind of sits in what I would describe as live or in-room distribution. So for example, if I had a confidence monitor here or relay screens, if it was a theater show or a festival and I was a performer being captured, we need absolute minimal latency. So the movement that's taking place and being captured on stage is pretty much reflected immediately. Anywhere that maybe requires um, absolute synchronization or an ability to adjust that um, latency and synchronization. Video walls, blended projection, where you've got two sources that are going to be shown together. And of course, anywhere that you need HDCP. <clears throat> and then coming on to AVH, as I mentioned earlier, this is um, a deployment or a wraparound, if you like, for H.264X devices, H.264 today, soon to be H.265. And what that does is it adds um, the Dante management and Dante control protocol uh, to H.264 devices. So this would be things like um, PTZ cameras, HDMI encoders and decoders, which perhaps up until now live in quite an isolated um, way. So for example, you may have um, a H.264 camera. To access those settings, you would need to go into a web page, remember the IP address, adjust things like firmware, bandwidth. Um, and then you may have that again, but for a different manufacturer for a HDMI, H.264 encoder. So what Dante AVH does is it sits on top of those devices at a software level and makes them all available in Dante Controller and the Dante ecosystem. So you have that single pane of glass where you can manage your H.264 or H.265 devices and even do things like firmware updates via Dante Updater. 
So again, we really see this as being appropriate for things like recording, um, as we are today, or anywhere where um, you don't need that kind of super low latency or super high quality. Um, and for us, this has been um, very receptive, and we've had some fantastic partners and manufacturers that have really taken to this um, because it allows them to tap into the Dante ecosystem, um, which hopefully you will recognize is, is quite powerful. So then coming over to the software side of things with, with Dante Studio. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, Dante Studio is really the way of bringing um, things in the physical domain into, into a software domain or, or a software workflow. Um, it's made up of three components, as you can see here, uh, Video RX, Video TX, and Video Viewer. Uh, so Dante Video RX, um, as, as the name describes, allows you to receive video into a PC device and then share that video with other applications. So if I've got things like conferencing software, whether it's Zoom or Teams, I can actually bring in that uh, Dante AV source into um, those conferencing solutions and show them almost as a webcam uh, or, an, or a video device. Um, so I get to um, enjoy all of the um, device um, capabilities, but use them in a conferencing domain. And perhaps more excitingly, with using things like lecture capture software, you know, Panopto, or vision mixing software like vMix, I can actually bring in those sources and, and work with them at a software level. And for me personally, I feel that this is quite unique. Um, not many manufacturers or, or solutions are bridging the gap between what's going on in a physical domain um, into this level of, of software. <clears throat> and then finally, um, Video TX is the other side of things. So um, this is great if you've got a PC, uh, as I'm sharing now, that's perhaps giving off presentations or digital signage. It allows me to send the output of that PC um, at that low latency, at that high quality, um, to uh, a Dante Studio uh, software that's running on another PC, or a physical decoder or, or endpoint. So again, bridging back out to, to a physical domain. So this could be great for things like sending presentations to multiple screens. It could be great for a very basic digital signage system, repeater screens, or even troubleshooting um, and diagnosis for your customers so you can see the incoming video flows and what's going on. And then finally, Video Viewer, which is essentially, a, I guess, a flavor of, of Dante RX, but rather than integrating it with third-party applications, um, it allows you to view the source um, and display that in other places as well. So who are we working with today? Um, well, we've got over 25 companies that are currently developing with Dante AV, and that's growing. Um, I'm excited to share that we have some of those products here today. Um, so please come over to the SAM stand at H2, um, where we have the cameras and the decoders available, as well as the Dante Studio application running. Um, so yeah, please come over and, and have a look at that. Um, and then, as many of you will recognize, this software here, hopefully if you've been working with our audio, you can see that actually to integrate and do things with video is exactly the same. So I simply have my transmitters or sources along the top, my receivers and my destinations down here, and it's that same one-click routing of the video channel uh, over to the receiving destination. And then of course, we've got Dante Domain Manager as well. So looking at that in a little bit more detail, um, as I mentioned at the start, one of the areas that Ordinate had identified um, was perhaps needed in both a pro AV capacity and an IT capacity was the ability to um, control and manage these systems. And why is that? Well, the world is changing. Um, management and resource uh, is perhaps becoming more of a challenge. Um, you may not always have the staff available to be on site and diagnose systems. Um, or if you do, they may not have the appropriate skill set. So remote support is probably more important now than ever. Um, and as AV devices increasingly join and these ecosystems build, security is rightly becoming a concern. So with things like Dante Domain Manager, as many of you will be aware, we can do um, cross subnet um, management. So if you've got various devices that you want to uh, isolate to a particular user base or permission set or area, you can absolutely do that. Um, you get full audits, um, so you can see who's been logged in and who's been doing what. And it generally provides a level of insight, which I'm sure many of you will, will be familiar with in an audio realm. 
One thing that we're adding to that next year, which is really exciting to mention, is the GraphQL API. So that will allow you to control uh, Dante systems using a GraphQL API. If you've got an on-premise solution with Dante Domain Manager, you can speak directly to that. And as some of you may have seen, um, we also have a subscription model, so we know that not all projects enjoy uh, high and healthy budgets, so where there is more cost consciousness, we, we can offer subscriptions as well to reduce that initial expenditure. And finally, perhaps one of the more exciting things that I've been looking forward to sharing today, um, again, testament to what we're trying to do in the control and management space, is we've actually launched um, Dante Cloud. It's not going to be called Dante Cloud when it comes to market, so technically it's the Dante Cloud beta, um, but really what this is, is if you have a customer or a project that doesn't want to have an on-premise solution with Dante Domain Manager, um, then we can absolutely offer um, very similar functionality, but based in the cloud. So you have full remote access back to sites. It's very easy to set up. You don't need to go spinning up AWS instances or, or droplets. We do all of that heavy lifting for you. Simply log on to the website, subscribe, and then when you've set up your system in Dante Controller, you marry the two together, and for all intents and purposes, you effectively have um, what right now you'll be familiar with in Dante Domain Manager also available in the cloud. This will also support our GraphQL API. Um, here's a little snapshot of what it looks like. Uh, it probably may not look so similar to this by the time it comes to market. Um, but as you can see, we've got a lot of the diagnosis features that you'll be used to with things like the connectivity, clocking and latency, the different segregation of domains and sites, and a lot of the insight that you'll need to troubleshoot and, and monitor and set up. So as I mentioned, I've been speaking about this GraphQL API, um, and this is something which our team have been working very hard on. So as it stands today, we can interact with instances that sit both in Domain Manager and in the cloud. Um, so you absolutely can control uh, your Dante system with third-party uh, touch panels, external applications, whatever your requirements may be. Um, so this is really exciting for us. Um, we're constantly developing it. Um, and again, it's, it's due to be uh, fully functional by mid next year. So I guess what we're kind of um, highlighting is that actually Dante no longer, or these systems no longer need to be kind of segregated, siloed, um, cut off from perhaps uh, your, your team and your engineers who could be located anywhere. Um, and with things like the cloud-based solutions, you can literally have an engineer sat on one side of the world, controlling a system and doing operation on the other. And one thing that I would absolutely recommend looking at, if you're not aware of it already, is the uh, Dante over distance um, test that we did with Blue Note. You can go on Google and go on the internet uh, and have a look at some of the videos. But essentially, that was a collaboration that we did um, between three different uh, perform performers. Uh, I think one was based in New York. We had a couple in New York. We had a couple in Houston. And then we had a couple on the West Coast. And connecting them via private um, pipes, via private lines, those three performers were able to play in real time, in full synchronization, with no uh, latency that affected their performance at all. And then it was put back together, um, and it's pretty much like they're in the same room. So if you do have a chance to have a look at it, what you'll see is that where the performers are sat in the remote locations, they put up screens um, where the other performers would normally be. That was sent over Dante AV. And then, of course, they had all the music channels, um, mic channels that were sent using Dante Audio. And it's quite scary, actually, when, when you watch it. So I would definitely recommend uh, having a look at that as well. <clears throat> and then finally, I think just, just to summarize um, the, the kind of takeaways, everything you love about Dante now includes video. So we, we are really trying to maintain that, that DNA, that philosophy, um, everything that you're used to, controller, the one-click routing, the ease of setup, the discovery. Um, the video sits anywhere where you've got an existing Dante Audio uh, installation. So we're also trying to provide a toolkit. Um, you know, we aren't just developing a transport mechanism. It isn't just another codec. It's not just a bit of software that can sit on top, but it is the full ecosystem. So really what we're trying to do is enable our partners and our users with a toolkit 
um, that they can use to really push to the next levels of AV over IP and ultimately leverage Dante technology to your advantage. So if you do have um, a relatively basic encoder decoder system in a small meter room, um, which you may want to interact with the cloud, you can do that. If you have a large installation for a secure facility that needs to be offline, we can offer that with Dante Domain Manager. If you just have some H.264 encoders that you want to add the Dante intelligence to, we can absolutely support that as well. So there isn't one kind of fixed flavor. Um, ultimately, we have got a whole toolkit, a whole suite of solutions that you can use to your advantage. So I guess as a, a kind of closing statement, I would say Dante AV is a true ecosystem of interoperable and fully integrated hardware and software solutions. So thank you very much. I hope that's been useful. As I mentioned, we have got some products on display over at the SAM uh, booth at H2. We've got the camera, we've got studio working. Um, please come over, have a chat, ask any questions you may have, and thank you very much for coming along. <laughs>